we come before you giving thanks. We come before you thanking you for another day. Yes. Thank you. Another day of life. <coughs> another day of reasonable help. Day, another day of relative strength. Yes. <coughs> We thank you, Heavenly Father, because we acknowledge the fact that it is not us that is in control. Yes. It's not us that turns the sun on in the morning. <laughs> it's not us that has the moon to stand watch over the night. It's not us that put a cloud or a star in the sky. Mm -hmm. And because of that, because of the fact that we yield to you and your sovereign will, we thank you, thank you. for your control. Yes. We thank you for the daily lives that we lead that are orchestrated by your hand. Yes, yes, thank you. And we ask in this preaching moment that you will grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change. Right yes. <laughs> The courage to change the things right that now. we can and the wisdom to know the All difference. Right yes. Living one day at a time. Yes. Enjoying one moment at a time. Yes. Accepting hardships as the pathway to peace. Yes. Taking as Jesus did the sinful world Lord. as it is. Lord. Not as we would have it. Trusting that you, God, will make all things right as long as we surrender to your will. Yes. So that we may be reasonably happy in this life. Yes. But supremely happy with you forever in the next life. In this preaching moment, I ask that you allow me to decrease, Heavenly Father. Let me hide in the shadow of the cross. Let your will be done. Let your word come out and go forward and not come back void. I ask that the words in my mouth and the meditations in my heart will always and ever be acceptable in your sight. Because you are my creator. Yes. Our creator. Yes. Our Lord. Yes. Our sovereign God. Yes. Who we worship in spirit and in truth. All right now. Yes. Yes. These and all blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. name. Jesus. Jesus name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, New Philadelphia. Hey, Reverend Aaron. These breaks I'm taking, Joyce. So I don't know. I'm starting to see why he like to sit down so much. All right, man. Because, uh... <laughs> We'll that uh, after what was it? Uh, February. Then I had March. I sat down for March. The whole month? Yeah. Because that was Women's History Month. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I didn't know what the communion. <laughs> Amen. But uh, I'm happy to be up here today. Amen. Right I'm happy to speak to my church. And uh, I want to share with the church that uh, 
I happened to see Deacon Robinson this week. Amen. And he said, he said, I see you church. I see you at church on Sunday. I'm like, oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. I said, all right, then, because you, if you feel enough to it, come on. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? Yeah, he tried. That's all right. That's Amen. That's all right. We know he is. We, he's here in spirit. Yes, he is. God knows we know that. Amen. <laughs> But you tell him I was looking for him. Amen. But I understand. I understand. Praise the Lord. Are we still celebrating the Philadelphia? Yes. Amen. Are we still celebrating? Amen. Why are we celebrating? Hmm? We still celebrate the resurrection. We eat the people, right? Amen. Our Savior is alive. So we are still celebrating. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That son that was beaten and scourged, he gave that son. That son that was forced to carry his own cross. Now usually um, when a person was going to be um, crucified, they only carried the crossbar of the cross. They didn't carry the whole thing. Mm. But for Jesus, you know, they had to make they had to make new rules for Jesus. Mm. So Jesus had to carry his own his old cross. Mm. Mm. That's the son that we are celebrating. The son, the only begotten son that was nailed to <coughs> that cross that he carried. That's the son. Who we are celebrating. The son that died on Friday and rose right on now. Sunday right for all my sin. Yes. For all your sin. Yes. That's the son that we are celebrating. That's the life we're celebrating because we're celebrating a risen Savior. Yes. And not a dead. All right. Yes. Amen. Glory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. This is the continual celebration for a risen saint. Yes. Amen. 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 And a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. And still celebrate Jesus' resurrection. Yes. Amen. 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 And the blessing to be in the fellowship of believers and still celebrating Jesus' resurrection. Amen. Right now. Amen. And a blessing to be seen and not viewed. Right, Amen. 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 And a blessing to be looking down at the grass instead of up at the grass. Amen. Amen. And a blessing to be able to walk in the church and not be carried in the All church. Right, Amen. Amen. And the blessing is not one. Amen. 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 And a blessing to be. Amen. And still celebrate. Jesus' resurrection. Yes. God is good. <laughs> God is good. Yes. Yes. Uh, before I tell y'all my subject, I got to tell y'all this. I have, it's not a guilty pleasure, but I love watching old TV shows. Amen. <laughs> Me too. I love watching old TV shows. Amen. I come home and um, I got, we have the Dish Network. And um, the Dish Network actually um, programs itself to your, your watching habit. Mm. Mm. So, okay. like, um, when I get home from work, I have, um, I have watched TV Land so much. Mm -hmm. So when I turn on the TV, <laughs> Andy Griffith is on. All right. Because I love, I love Andy Me Griffith. too. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Leave it to Beaver. So, so, <laughs> and leave it to Beaver. That's I'm right. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> but when, when, when I walk in that door, I'm turning that TV on. Mm -hmm. And TV Land, it doesn't matter what uh, anybody was watching before they left. Mm -hmm. But at 4 30. When I turn the TV on, it's going to TV, TV land. TV land. Amen. Wow. <laughs> I don't have no problem with that. I'm with you. I'm with you. 
because I like that show. And mm-hmm. then uh, after that show is MASH. Yes. So I get to watch MASH. <laughs> I love that show too. Mm-hmm. But um, I believe and, um, Kim got me watching uh, Perry Mason. Mm-hmm. I, I never used to like Perry Mason. Mm-hmm. But I watch it now. And the black and white. Yeah! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like him too. That is kind of good. Yeah, it is. I know Perry Mason is not supposed to be a comedy, but I find myself laughing at Perry Mason. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the funniest thing to me is when he has them in the hearings and he just be grilling them and grilling them and everybody just stands so strong on the fact that they didn't do what mm-hmm. he said they did. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden they just bust out, yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the heat gets <laughs> them. So yeah, I kill them. And then they give you the reason why. So like if they justify it, that's going to give them less time in prison. Right. No. 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 You gone. Amen. So Amen. Thank you for admitting it, but you show sure waste all our time. Yeah. <laughs> we call up here 10 witnesses. Yes. And if you had just said it when you were first up here, you could have just saved California some time. You're right. <laughs> Amen. So I like I like Perry Mason too. Uh, but but now my favorite two. A good time mm-hmm. and Sanford and Sunday. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord for Sanford yes, and Sunday. Yes, sir. It's and a I big one, Elizabeth. Amazon Fire Stick. Mm-hmm. So now I can, I can watch all the Sam and his son, no commercial. All right. All right. And then if you put it on autoplay, you ain't got to get up. All right. All right. It just go to the next show. As soon as one show <laughs> ends, the next is starting. Okay. I ain't moving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to admit that then. I'm being lazy because I will not move. I will not move. But what I what I like about it, nothing more so than the fact that is they these these shows are funny and they you know you just have a good time. But you can reflect on the past. Cause I try to think about what I was doing. When when this show first came on, Amen. Not so much Perry Mason and Andy Griffith because I was just born pretty much. But um, like Sam and his son, I still have memories of watching Sam and his son on Friday nights, and um, him being so funny mm-hmm. <laughs> that Daddy would walk through the house laughing real loud. <laughs> Because he just can't sit there and watch it. He's just too funny. Mm-hmm. So daddy, he walking around the house holding his son, screaming, laughing. He said, he is so crazy. And, they, and we all said, no, you crazy. I know. I know. When he's watching it, you can hear him all over. Yeah, I already know, Auntie. I already know. But I can, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> and, T, and even now, he will talk. He'll, sometimes he'll talk to me about different episodes of Andy Griffith. Because cause Barney. Mm. Barney fight. Barney fight. Barney fight. That's the man. Yeah, it is. That's the man. But, you know, I can look back on it. And um, some other things about it is I can reflect on the past itself. But I think about my past. But I think about, too, that they actually were good show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. They were actually good show. And you go through, no matter how many times you watch them, you go through all your emotions with these shows. Amen. You go through your joy, your laughter and everything, and then sometimes something, something will be said that you be like, oh, that just made me mad. Mm-hmm. You know, because I know it was a lot of times on good times, if I watch, if I watch too long, I would be like, you know, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you may you go through your frustration, mm -hmm. but you actually you still you go through your heartfelt moments in there because you know it's sometimes you, you I don't I don't do it, but it's sometimes they can pull a tear out your eye. Amen. No, I don't do it. Right? No, I don't. <laughs> you like my daddy. I just sweat. <laughs> His eyes just sweat. My daddy was sweating. His eyes sweat. But no matter what I go through, though, when I'm watching, I still, I'm still gonna watch. Mm -hmm. I'm still gonna watch. Mm -hmm. and sometimes when I'm watching them, believe it or not. I can find a message in them. And that's like what the, uh, when I, I preached on first Sunday and I was, saying, I was saying that you can go through the Bible, you can continue to read it and read it, you can read the same passage, and you can find something that you might have missed one other time when you were reading. Amen. It's the same thing with these shows. I find little mistakes that have been made, or I find something that that rings with a bit of wisdom. All right. Just like I told y'all um, on um, on New Year's about Mad. You know, and and I watch Mad now. I watch Mad, and I, I don't do nothing. I got to sit there and pay attention. Because I say, because y'all going to throw something at me that I miss. <laughs> and I need to use it to bring it. I need to bring it to my church. So I really do. <laughs> now I really pay, I pay a lot of attention to man. But I'm thankful for the preaching moment. I mean, for the teachable moment. Okay. I'm thankful for the lesson that I might learn from any of these shows. Because I think that there's a blessing in it. I remember one time I was um, I was invited to sing at um, First Baptist Church of Indian Rocks, and they got two big they got two big old screens up in the front of the church, right? One right here, one right here. <laughs> and um, I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's for the preacher. I, I mean, but it's because it, it, it is a big church, but I did notice that everybody had a good vantage point to see a pulpit. So I was wondering, I said, well, what's, what's the big screens for? Turns out, before he preaches, he shows an episode of Andy Griffith. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. He shows an episode of Andy Griffith. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then his sermon speaks directly to the show the episode of Andy Griffith that you just watched wow uh -huh. and he did it too mm. right. wow. I was like okay what's the white man <laughs> 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 that's right that's right he tore it up all he right tore it up but the thing was well, and then when I was as I was listening to him and just going back over what I just saw I was like Wow. I never would have thought that it was that much of a message mm. in the Andy Griffith right. show. Mm -hmm. Amen. But for him to, to put this whole sermon together, I, th I thought it was amazing. I just I, that's the only that's the only word I can say. I thought it was amazing. So I said all that to give y'all my my subject because, like I said, I watch, I like to watch all these old shows, and y'all saw this. You you heard the scripture, and 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 it happened as he was alone praying that his disciples joined him, and he asked them saying, "Who do the crowd say that I am?" So they answered and said, "John the Baptist." But some say Elijah. And others say that one of the old prophets has risen again. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? All right now. Peter answered and said, the Christ of God. 
you God's sons. And he strictly warned and commanded them to tell this to no one, saying, the Son of Man must suffer many things yes. and be rejected yes. by the elders yes. and chief priests and scribes and be killed hmm. and be raised the third day. All right now. <laughs> All right. So y'all got the scripture. Yeah. All right. And you got the fact that I like these. I'm mentioning these old movies, old TV shows. I even watch some old movies too. Amen. Some old movies. Mm -hmm. Just a few. But my subject this morning is the blessing of the rerun. All right. Oh, okay. All, right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Because, see, Jesus hung out with the disciples for a little while, right? Yes, he did. <clears throat> They watched him heal. They watched him preach. They watched him feed people. They watched him uh, do all other kinds of miracles. They basically watched him. They looked at what he was doing. And they were like, okay, this, this is all right. This is somebody we can hang out with for a little while. Ain't it a blessing to hang out with him? Yeah. So they were there for their teachable moments. He was there for Jesus' teachable moments. And Jesus, everything he did was a teachable moment. All right now. All right now. It spoke to faith. It spoke to, to love. It spoke to uh, healing. It spoke to pretty much everything. Yes. Yes. And they were there for every one of his teachable moments. And his, one of his biggest teachable moments was right here in Luke 9. Because <clears throat> while at the same time he was teaching, <laughs> he was also explaining to them, there is going to be my impending and in inevitable crucifixion. But I'll be back. <laughs> All right. Jesus interacting with Peter, Jesus' interaction with Peter was a teaching moment, but it was without a parable. Because you know a lot of times Jesus spoke in parables. Mm -hmm. But this time it wasn't a parable. Not only did he establish and solidify his kinship with God, not only did he inform them of his experience leading to the crucifixion, but he also let them know he's coming back. Right now. I'm gonna suffer. They gonna beat me half to death. Mm. And I'm gonna take it. Mm. They gonna whip me. Woo! I'm gonna take it. Preach it. They gonna they gonna put that they, they're gonna lash me and pull me out of my off of my bone. I'm gonna take it. Yes. I'm gonna deal with my haters. Mm. But I'm gonna take it. Mm. I'm gonna walk up this hill with this heavy cross. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna be nailed to that same cross. The same cross that everybody else get tied to. I'm getting nailed to it. But I'm going to take it. Woo. Hallelujah. I'm taking it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm taking it for you. Thank you. Thank you. Josh, I'm taking it for you. Thank you. And you ain't even here yet. Mm. You ain't even seen yet. All right. I'm taking it for you too. Glory. Is that powerful? Yes. yes. Remember what I, I said that Jesus used to do stuff that was unbelievable? Mm -hmm. That's unbelievable. Yes. Because I think the first lash with me 
Oh no, they got to die for their own sins. All right now. Cause all wrong. All right. <laughs> I don't need this pain in my life. Amen. <laughs>
<laughs> While Jesus came back and continued doing the things he said he was he, the things he said he was going to do before his death, the disciples who are now apostles, they picked up on new things. That's a good point. They picked up on new things. Yeah, it was the same Jesus, but the rerun provided them with a vehicle for a spiritual upgrade. All right. All right. All right. I understand that. Jesus was doing the same things, but he was still providing new teachable moments. He was still he was still healing, but he was healing new people because the he had, the ones he had already healed, they didn't have no uh, uh what you call it what you call it, Vicky. <laughs> A, re, a, relapse. a relapse. A relapse. They didn't have a relapse. <laughs> Jesus healed them, and that was it. <laughs> so they didn't have that. But now, uh, well, the people that they got fed, I'm sure they learned how to continue to feed themselves. <laughs> I know they weren't following Jesus around to see if he was going to have more fish and bread <laughs> lunches. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> But, but the thing is, those that believe in Jesus continue to believe in Jesus. Yes. But then there were the new ones that were, that, you know, if somebody, somebody dies, and before they die, they tell you, I'll be back. Hmm. And you're going to think they're crazy. That, that ain't even a lie. Amen. That ain't even a lie. Jesus said it. And Peter was like, well, no, Jesus, come on, wait a minute. And he was like, you know what? Back away from me. But this from God. This ain't from this this ain't from Peter. All right now. Peter didn't create nothing. <laughs> Peter was not in charge. Peter didn't even have a boat up in heaven when they said, let's send Jesus to earth. <laughs> So I need you to back up. Cause this is this is a, on a plane, this is on a plane that's higher than yours. Okay? Like uh what like we used to say in the military, you know this is this is higher than my pay grade. Alright. <laughs> so Peter, this is higher than your pay grade. So you need to just stay where you are. You know, stay in your place. <laughs> but in your lane. the thing is, if somebody says that they, they if if you got if you got just an inkling, an inkling of doubt when somebody tells you, "Oh, I'm gonna die, but I'll be back in three days." <laughs> when they come back and you see them, your whole belief system has to change. Right now. You can't have doubt no more. All right now. Because you like, I'm all with it now. oh, he back. Yes. Just yes. like he said he would be. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I think I'm on that boat right there. I got to follow him because I want some of that. I want some of that. I want my own rerun. And the thing is, we receive blessings from these reruns. The blessings we received from the crucifixion and the resurrection, the rerun. One of the blessings that we received, as for you uh, Spectrum and Bright House Christian, <laughs> is to start over. Amen. You know, when you, uh, if you got Spectrum, Bright House, mm -hmm. and it's a show on, you can start it off. Right? Amen. And it, it, it pop up right down at the bottom of the screen. Amen. I'm going to start over. Yep. Yeah. Amen. And you can just hit start over, and it'll start off. Yes, it will. Amen. It will. Jesus went to the cross. Hmm. He shed his blood. Yes. For the remission of sins. Yes, he did. Because 
in essence, what Jesus was doing. Let y'all start on. All right now. You let y'all start over. Glory. That blood, once that blood came down yes. and cleansed your sins, yes. you got a clean slate. Yes. Wow. Glory. Woo. You can start over. Right. That's just like Rachel. That's just like us going to a buffet. Mm -hmm. And when we finish that plate, <laughs> Amen. <laughs> the first one. Oh, Lord. It's on, it's on Netflix. Oh, Lord. That's a good movie. But we have, when we are forgiven for our sins, when we go to the throne of grace, Francis, <coughs> and we ask to be pardoned for our sins in earnest, we are moving forward, but we're putting our life on that DVR. Mm -hmm. So we can, because we can go back again and again and again. As long as you're not continually doing the same one, because we have to, wow, God can say, uh, <laughs> you can use that one up. <laughs> Yeah, God asking you to 